So what's up guys, Gone Shot here doing this commentary which I'm very excited to bring. It's Modern Warfare 3. It was my first ever game I played on it, which was Domination um, with the UMP default class. Uh, you can see it's my first ever game because I'm just changing my sensitivity there. Um, so I'm just, I, by the way, I haven't, like, I the last time I played Call of Duty before this was on Xbox because I was around my mate's house, so I was, like, a prick like pretty rusty with the controls you could say um, but yeah so I'm just gonna get on with what I want to talk about which is Modern Warfare 3 so my first impressions of the game were basically it's yeah it's a lot like Modern Warfare 2 there's but I do enjoy the maps a lot more they're a lot smaller a lot more like compact and a lot more action goes on in the maps in um, Modern Warfare 3 than Modern Warfare 2 um, it has gone a little bit more like Call of Duty 4, there is no doubt about that, but it's still Modern Warfare 2 style, which is good in a way. Modern Warfare 2 did have its good points, just apart from it had so many bad points. They have removed the bad points, but they've kept, I don't know why they've done that, they kept in final stand, but took away last stand, it was just stupid because I've had two people use final stand and yeah yeah it's not as common but I'm sure it will become start start becoming a common problem um other stuff I want to say um yeah so the first thing I noticed on this was throwing concussion grenades um or flash grenades or whatever like anything like that takes a lot longer than on COD 4 any other Call of Duty to be honest any other Call of Duty it takes really long to throw it the only way you can get around that is by using quick draw pro which uh, allows you to throw any equipment really fast which is a lot faster than any other call of duty as well but you if you don't use it it's too slow to even bother about and i um i throw concussion grenades a lot i just like say i start and i'm on a smaller map i'll just lob them as soon as i spawn into where i think they're going to spawn and i'll lob all three this means that I'm spending quite a long time at the beginning of a match well not beginning, every time I spawn throwing these grenades and it is annoying but I do use Quick Draw Pro on a lot of stuff so that's fine oh I'll get a funny care package thing, my first ever care package I throw it, I look around, some guy spawns right next to me I'm thinking no no no, oh my god he's gonna do it what a twat, I don't know why he done that but yeah um, Decoy packages are actually quite a common thing that people seem to have on the enemy team or on your own team. Um, so the thing is, nobody ever captures the enemy, uh, what do you call it, things anymore. Because if if you know it's a juggernaut, uh, if it says juggernaut on the box and no one's around, they're obviously, it's a decoy package. If it says um, the Overwatch thing, you know it's a decoy package because no one goes for it even though it's such good things so it's, it's obvious when it's a decoy package I've blown I've been blown up by it I think twice uh, two times only um, but yeah uh, other things UMP has been downgraded which is a lot better um, I, d I have been using UMP though for a moment because I'm just trying to get used to the maps it's an easy gun to use I've started using the MP5. Um, sniping on this game is amazing. I actually, pref I, it's probably my favourite one to snipe on. I because um, COD4, I love sniping on that. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. But um, it, it's, it's, I, I don't know. It's, this and COD4 are great to snipe on. To be honest, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, it was fun sniping on, but oh my god. It had too many problems to even bother about sniping with. I could not do it with fucking noob tubes everywhere. But this has noob tubes haven't killed me yet, which is great. Um, other stuff, sniping. Oh yeah, all the other snipers. There's so many snipers that are like one shot kill. I've used the um, L11, Barrett 50 cal, and I haven't used the Dragonov yet, but I have used the one that unlocks straight after the Dragonov, which is the Oh, I've no, I, can't, I don't know what it's called, but it has like a really shit zoom on it. It's like really weird. It's like a variable zoom with just it's like first zoom. It's really weird, but it's still one shot kill, but it's not that good because of the zoom on it. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to unlocking the intervention. See what that's like. Well, it's not called the intervention, but it's basically the intervention. So that'd be good. Um, 
good points about this as well uh, the fact that capturing um, domination posts and playing the objective get your points destroying a sand mis uh, turret that somebody's put out destroying that stuff gets your points towards your streak which is good I still haven't got a high kill streak yet just because um, just like Battlefield if you watch my Battlefield commentaries I, uh, I had a shit day on the first day of playing it which happens to me on any Call of Duty or any game to be honest that's um, like multiplayer um, so yeah that sort of happens a lot to me where I just cannot play the game for the first day first couple of days maybe um, is the AC 130 I managed to get on my first uh, care package which was pretty good I was pretty happy about that um, so I've, I've done pretty well on my first on my first game since I had no idea about this map at all I learned it. I've learned most of the maps now. I think I've played all of them. I know all my, my way around them all. It's just um, other people don't, so it's pretty weird about when you're playing them. Uh, they don't know where to go, so you're expecting them to come from one direction. They're completely going the other direction, which makes it pretty hard for you to actually do anything. Which uh, yeah, it's it's, it's going to stop in a while, obviously, because people will start learning the maps and stuff. But yeah, that's fine at the moment. My kill to death ratio is pretty shit. It's like 1.15 at the moment, just because I'm having bad games and stuff. Uh, when I snipe it, it go down a lot more, but that's fine. I don't care about it when it, I'm sniping. But when I'm playing normally, I like to get a higher up uh, K KD ratio. But I ain't too fussed about it because I know oh, it'll only go down in the end. So yeah, um, I am gonna probably bring out a montage by the end of the week, just as shitty. Thing just because I wanna, I wanna just edit some clips to it and uh, get some cool stuff. I've got like, an, I've got like one clip at the moment that's not that good, but still, sync watchable for the first like first week of the montage. I know people are like, oh, why does it matter if it's the first week or first day of the montage? Your clips should still be good. Well, I don't care. I don't give a shit if my clips are good, bad. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. So I'm letting you know now, the clips won't be amazing or anything like that, but it would just be something to watch, something to pass the time, and if you don't have Modern Warfare 3, it'd be something to watch while you ain't got Modern Warfare 3, just trying to like learn the maps from it, like, well, not learn the maps because it's a short clips, but like, see where the good spots are, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, other stuff, the maps, um, Prestige Shop, that's it, um, Prestige Shop's pretty good. Uh, I started with four prestige tokens, which was good because I prestige on Quad 4, uh, World at War, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. So you get four prestige tokens, which was good. Uh, I unlocked two custom classes and double XP, and I've just got one left at the moment because I just want to save that one at the moment. Not too sure what I want to do. Custom classes where I knew I'd need another custom class, and yeah, I, need, I still need another custom class even though I've got seven already. But that's fine. I'll unlock another one uh, next prestige. Um, and I'm not going to unlock any gear or weapon XP because I know I'm prestiging. So what's the point in getting your weapon up to the max level when you're prestiging and you're going to get rid of the gun and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, other stuff. What other stuff is there? Um, kill streaks. Ah, yeah, kill streaks. Uh, kill streaks are really, in my opinion, they're s overpowered on some and underpowered on others. So you got, like, you got stuff like the juggernaut. If you put it on special, not specialist, um, support, it requires 18 kills. 18 points but your points carry on even when you're dead so it's basically get 18 kills in the match or 18 objectives or a mix of both and stuff like that and you'll get juggernaut or you could use it on um, assault and just get a 15 point streak so three points less and you have to get it in a streak which is which is stupid like no one's gonna want to do that I mean I can imagine people doing it just like just because they they're good and stuff like that and that's how they want to do it. They'll upload it to YouTube, be like, I've got Juggernaut this way, stuff like that. But I, but to be honest, in the real world, like, there's no actual point in doing it. There's, it's just 
pointless and but juggernaut is annoying we've got like the some weird stuff we've got like this strafe run of seven not seven five helicopters that go across the map in whatever direction you want and i've used it hasn't killed a single person i saw someone else used it didn't kill a single person and that's like a nine kill streak and it's absolute shit it's uh just not not worth it so i put i i at the moment use predator missile um predator some uh pavlo and something else but yeah so it's, um that's about it for that now so stay for more modern warfare 3 content coming soon